Good morning. Monday. Yeah, Monday. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Had a few storms last night, a little bit of hail. Nothing too crazy, though, but a little bit of hail. We've got uh, uh, another round today of rain and storms. For some, they will be severe, and then for others, just kind of general thunderstorms. But we will have a few uh, uh, colder weather ahead, chilly, chilly, cold snap, and we're, we're not talking crazy cold. Now, we're going to have morning lows back down into the uh, 30s coming up later in the week. And then next week, next week, finally, looks a little bit more like springtime around here. Big dry line, uh, powerful storm, powerful jet stream. So, yeah. So, if you got rain overnight, uh, that's good. That's great news. And uh, hi from school in UC. Hmm. Good morning from Mansville. Okay, cool. Nice. Good morning. Um... I'm just reading some of your stuff here. Uh, good morning from Guthrie. One of my favorite little towns. Not because I was born there. Okay, it is. Um, anyway, all right, so numbers keep climbing here. Uh, in Ardmore, there you go. Mary, you will see some bigger storms today. Mary A. Apodaco? Apodaco? Sorry about that, Mary. Yes, you'll have a better chance for severe storms down there today. You're down near the, uh, um, down near the, the stationary front. So, okay, so let's get to it here, and I won't keep you on here too long today. We'll make this short and easy. Um, you're just looking at Mesonet, and the winds are here are blowing in from the northeast. Now, notice down here in southern Oklahoma, they're out of the south. You can see that here. We can take a look at the temperature gradient. You can easily tell. Um, where the front is. So down here we have 60s and 70s. North of this boundary we have 50s. So rain cooled, much more stable behind that boundary. And then when you look at uh, dew point temperatures, lots of lots of 50s going on. Um, and then we look at the wind here. You can see where the, the boundary is. It's down here. So um, along and south of that boundary is where we're going to have a chance for for uh, thunderstorms and severe weather. Okay. All right. Now, so rainfall. Let's take a look at this. I'm going to show you this. It's pretty good. Uh, last night, I know Western Oklahoma, you missed out. Thunderstorms develop basically east of Clinton near Weatherford and then spread east overnight and through this morning. And, and some places had a Three hundredths of an inch, while Norman had an inch. Seminole had 1.5. So, um, for some, a pretty good rain for, you know, northern, northeastern Oklahoma, quarter, half an inch. Nothing in the northwest, nothing in the west where you desperately need it in the southwest. But there's more rain coming. Okay, there's more rain coming. All right, so here's what's happening right now. Oklahoma, cloud cover. Hanging pretty tough, central, southwest Oklahoma. And you see these little popcorn, little bubbles here sticking up? Those are the tops of showers and thunderstorms. And here's what they look like. And the one storm down here, um, which is going to be headed towards Ardmore, um, is severe. Okay, now the other stuff, let me point this out. Uh, Stratford, Maysville, over to Chickasha, Medicine Park. These are all, you know... Storms producing some small hail, gusty winds in here. Here's Oklahoma City, okay? And this is going on to the south of Oklahoma City. But a little more rain headed back towards Blanchard and Norman. So some nice rains down here today. But down here near this boundary is where the strongest storms are going to be today. So if you live in Ardmore to Marietta to Medill to Tishomingo to Durant, Hugo, um, your storms down here are going to be, they're going to be bigger today. So really, when we're talking about the threat for the largest hail, uh, when we're talking about the threat for a, a tornado threat, it's down here today. It's basically, it's like that, something like that, okay? So Ardmore, Wilson, Kingston, um, this is the area. And overall, it's a low threat, okay? And then you're thinking, well, what's going on at North, Payne? Well, 
for the rest of us today, let's just say this area in here, um, this is going to be just thunderstorms producing some small hail, gusty winds, lightning, and thunder. Okay? Nothing too crazy. You got to get down here to get in on the crazy, okay? And again, I say that word all the time. I mean, not crazy, crazy, but at least a, at least a tornado threat uh, down in southern Oklahoma. All right, so let's look at um, some of the models here. And, all right, so here's what we have going on right now. The model doing a pretty good job. This one is, anyway. And notice how this just continues into the afternoon, right? Let me make this a little bit bigger for you. Okay, hang on just a second. Okay, so, um, okay, so, uh, sorry here. Here's noon today, one o'clock. One o'clock, scattered showers, a few thunderstorms, All right? All right, and let's take you through the afternoon. There's three o'clock, four o'clock. See, so we have this broken line of showers and thunderstorms, five o'clock, six o'clock. So six o'clock today, pretty good wave of storms running from Frederick to Lawton to really South Oklahoma City, Moore, Norman, Shawnee, Okima. Pretty good band of heavy rain in here, some wind and hail. But it's these storms down here that we'll have to watch. See how these are stronger? There's higher reflectivity here on the, um, on the, on the, just on the graphic itself, on the radar here, future radar. And there's, you know, there's eight o'clock, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, between eight and nine, big storms coming into Ardmore. And then by 10 o'clock, you know, they're, they're east of Ardmore and, and winding down. Okay. So, for most of the day, the rain's going to be good. Look at these rainfall amounts. And uh, look at that. Pretty impressive. I mean, there's uh, some areas down here you'll see locally two to three inches of rain, which is really nice. Oklahoma City, if you live in the north part of Oklahoma City, Edmond, Yukon, you're not going to see a whole lot. I think this is going to be mainly from like a more Norman down to Chickasha, down to Lawton deal, and then from there south and east. Okay? So... Um, but there will be a tornado threat and some of the data, you know, as far as instability, let me show you some of the numbers here. It's not that high. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's pretty low. Um, but there's decent shear today or there's decent spinning, but these numbers down here just represent instability. And these are, these are low. Um, these are low overall, a little higher down into Texas, but the way the temperatures are today, and the, the dew points, we still, we still could have a couple of spinning storms down there for sure that will produce some large hail and some damaging winds with an overall low tornado threat down in southern Oklahoma. Better chance for some tornadoes today down towards Dallas and then from Dallas over towards Shreveport and places like that, okay? But it looks good. Uh, but again, if you live in the South Metro, Paul's Valley, Purcell, you're going to have a, it's going to be a wet day, a wet afternoon and a wet evening. Then overnight tonight, it's gone. Okay, so we have a strong cold front ahead. And let me show you what that's going to look like here coming up. Um, give me one second here. Okay, so tomorrow's going to be warm. Let me show you this map here. Tomorrow's going to be warm. Highs in the... 70s and 80s tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be really warm. And then here comes the cooler air. Tomorrow night, a little system moves in. Might see some showers in northeast Oklahoma. But Wednesday, highs in the 60s. Thursday, uh, more of the same. Highs in the 60s into your Friday. Lots of dry air. Windy, windy weather coming our way for your Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then... As we get into the weekend, let me show you this little picture here. Okay, so here's the jet stream as we get into uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Strong jet overhead, but this is a cool, dry pattern for us right here. Okay, so that's, that's your big cool down. 
Now let's go, let's talk about uh, next week here. Okay, so. So here's what's, here's what's coming through right now. That little dip, that's today's rain and storms, all right? And then here comes, look at this bowling ball here. Here comes your cold or your cool, highs in the 60s, lows in the 30s by next Friday and Saturday morning of this week. This thing finally moves out, and then watch what happens here. See this strong jet coming out of the southwest across Oklahoma next week? So that would be next Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. And with that, um, dry line, whole ball of wax coming up. And we look at... Um, and look how sharp this dry line is next week here. Let me show you this here just a second. Sorry, let's get this up here. Okay. So lots of dry air in place through the week, and then as we get into the weekend. See the dry line next week? That's next Monday. It's Monday of next week. Look at the dry line here on Tuesday. Big dry line, right? Could have storms along that, severe weather. And then Wednesday, it's got the dry line, cold front trying to move through here Wednesday morning. It's got it kind of out of phase. We'll see if that works out. But either way, um, today, if there's going to be a tornado at all, it's going to be in southern Oklahoma, Ardmore, Carter County, Love County, uh, you know, a little bit west of there, you know, a county deep into Oklahoma. Today, we still have rain and storms all the way up to, you know, the south metro. But any, any severe weather as far as, as a tornado threat goes is going to be down, again, across southern Oklahoma, excuse me, southern Oklahoma. And um, for the rest of it, it's just rain with some small hail, and lightning, and thunder. Um, and then uh, the rest of the week looks pretty quiet. Colder. Uh, I've got highs in the low 60s again Thursday and Friday. And then we're, and uh, yeah, Davis, uh, you'll be on the edge of some wind and some hail today. And the tornado threat for you, I think, I think you're out of it. I think you're too far north down in Davis. But not very far away. I mean, it could be just, you know down to your south, Carter and Love County. Julie Springer, Noland. Yeah, yeah, I think Davis, you're too far north. You're too far north to get in on that tornado threat at all. I think, you know, you're gonna get rain today and this evening. Oh yeah, wet, wet, wet. So, sulfur, I think sulfur's too far north too. Too far north in sulfur. Okay. Um, but anyway, so, Far south of Oklahoma today, I'll show you that again. Um, this is where I, I did this a few minutes ago. My, if there's gonna be a tornado threat today, where it is, it's down here. This is far south, here's Ardmore, um, Medill, you know, Kingston, uh, Ardmore. Uh, by the way, there's a, Pretty stout storm headed to Ardmore right now. So if you live in Ardmore or west of Ardmore, this is gonna produce at least quarter size hail. Okay, so keep that in mind. It's going right down Highway 70. It's going to Long Grove next and then Ardmore. So if you live in Ardmore, near Ardmore, uh, winds in that 60 miles per hour, quarter size hail. And then from Ardmore, it's gonna head over towards Dixon and Mansville, okay? Not tornadic, but this is a little bit super silly. There's a little bit of weak shear with that. Okay, but this is kind of my tornado zone for today, this area here, and this big area that I have, just where we're gonna have just general, maybe a strong, yeah, sure, strong storm or two, certainly possible, sulfur, uh, just north of the boundary, okay? But once you get keep going farther north, the threat of severe weather lessens quite a bit, okay? And then the rest of the week's quiet, and then we have, you know, Early next week. So early next week looks interesting. It's for us uh, so far. We've had some rain off and on. We've had cool weather. We um, will next week be a high end event. It could be Melissa. It could be. It depends on the timing of the wave. Um, uh, uh, Kanawha. Oh yeah, Kanawha. Yeah, you're out of it. You're going to get rain. You're going to get some more rain today in Kanawha, but you're not going to get any crazy severe there. Carol Matthews. Um, 
But yeah, yeah. Ne- next week there be there could be a day or two in there where it's like you know we're gonna have a couple we're gonna have some tornadoes we're gonna have some big hail uh, instability is higher. It's kind of the first next week is setting up to be kind of the first real deal of this spring for us, and that's normal as we get into mid April. You know we've had severe weather in Texas. We've had tornadoes in Oklahoma, sure, but we've had you know bigger severe weather in Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama. First of all, that's normal. That's where things start. They start in the south and southeast. But <clears throat> they've had a huge uh, early, well, spring in, in the south. And it's a classic. It's La Nina. Strong jet stream. We're warm. Boom. That's all you need. You get those things together with the Gulf of Mexico close by. You get plenty of moisture. It's an active sub- southern jet. You get storm after storm after storm after storm. And th- yeah, they've had plenty of severe weather. But that's all going to be lifting back into the west and north, back towards the plains over the next uh, several weeks. So, anyway, it's all good. Well, all right, I'll let you guys go. I know you guys busy day ahead. It's Monday. Um, So, tornado threat at all today is in far southern Oklahoma. The rest of us will see some rain, some storms, up to about I-40. Northern, western Oklahoma, you're out of it today. You're not going to see any more rain at all. Western, northwestern, northern Oklahoma, no more rain for you. And then um, um, rest of the week, cooler uh, by Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, cool. And then the weekend looks great. It's going to be windy this weekend. Um, And then uh, next week, a week from today and the following Tuesday, so seven, eight, nine nine days down the road, seven to eight days down the road, nine days, severe weather returns. And uh, that might be some higher end severe weather. Yeah, Western Oklahoma. Tommy, I hear you, man. I hear you. We we need we need rain uh, out west, but the, it's you know we're trying to hammer down a what we call a mega drought, and these these happen, and it's been in the western U.S. So hopefully we can you know eradicate some of that going forward. I get it. So anyway, okay. Well, hey. I've enjoyed it on a Monday. We'll do it again uh, later today. And uh, uh, you can, uh, Cassie Hyder's on today. She's got the noon. And then uh, I'll be there for the 4 o'clock today, the 4, 5, 6, and 10. We'll do all that and have a little fun. Okay. So, Lori Johnson, you are welcome. You are so welcome. Um, anyway, you guys have a good Monday. And, uh, again, tornado threat there today. It is, but it's low. It's in far southern Oklahoma, Ardmore, Carter County, Love County. Marshall County, okay, over to Durant, places like that. North of that, more storms, more rain, but that tornado threat is way down south today, okay. And then just uh, kind of chilly tonight and and uh, big warm-up tomorrow and then chillier on uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, especially Thursday, Friday, okay. We have a zoo trip tomorrow. Uh, Carrie Montgomery, knock yourself out. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Go to the zoo. It'll be fairly windy tomorrow, but it's okay. Uh, tomorrow looks great. Highs in the upper 70s, tomorrow and 80s. Tomorrow's great. 70s and 80s, warm, kind of windy, bone dry. Looks great. Tomorrow looks great. Awesome. Rest of the week looks good. Yeah, rest of the week looks good. Just much cooler. Hey, Bruce. Bruce James. Okay. I will see you guys a little bit later on News 9. You guys have a good Monday. Take care.